out there a little bit further. I need a wide angle lens. That's going to be my next pur purchase so you're all not like that in my face. <laughs> or I'm that in your face. Whatever. Anyway, good morning. It is a very, very beautiful morning in California. Yay! It's warm. The sun is out. It's clear. And it's getting windy. That part I could live without because my asthma is going to get going with all the dust and stuff. But it clears the dirtiness out of the air and it makes it beautimous, 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 beautimous. So anyway, um, Bentley, what's wrong? What's wrong with you, buddy? Okay, I thought you were choking or something. He's just sneezing. He goes, I got the sneezes, mama. I got the sneezes, yes. So, I just got up and I've made myself a cup of coffee and Bentley's giving Mama lots of love. Mm, I love you. So, um, I think I'm going to start the day getting admin out of the way because I have been a bad girl. <laughs> I have not kept up on any of my admin stuff. I have just done like a couple emails and then like oh, I'll get to those later and just now it is building up to pages worth and there could be money in those pages there could be a brand deal that I'm ignoring I've done that before where I think it's just like pff, whatever and then I I went in and found out that it was a time sensitive brand deal they wanted me to do and it was something I would have liked you would have liked it too. But, nope, Jody blew it because she just was ignoring the computer and just enjoying life. So, today I am going to get on with the program and I'm going to start by doing about probably a couple hours of admin. Then I'm going to jump in the shower because I am one hot mess. It is hair day. It is change my clothes day. <laughs> it is everything day. And um, yeah, I think. And also I went out first thing this morning. I went out because I wanted some lemon for my tea because I always wake up and I have a tall glass of water. Um, I can't do warm water. It makes me throw up. But I have a tall glass of ice water or cold water. And then I have a cup of with a uh, little bit of lemon just to kind of clear things up. So I went out to our lemon tree and it is overflowing oh my goodness so i'll probably take you guys out there and let you see my beautiful trees and the oranges are starting they're like everywhere but they're not quite ripe and they're little tiny ones they're so so cute i don't want to eat them they're so cute but i will <laughs> i will trust me anyway so I think that's what's going to happen now. So I'm going to set you up on a hyperlapse. And then after that, I am going to pick you back up and continue with our day. Hope you guys are having a good day. It's Friday and it's the weekend, which used to excite me, you know, because the weekend meant that I didn't have to work. Um... You know, I could relax, I could get stuff done around the house, I could lay flat. And now it's like, okay, well, I lay flat every day. I am in my grubbies every day. I am, hmm. And now it's like the weekend is like the week. There's like no big difference except for I get to see people. I realized that I was getting depressed because I have worked since I was 14 years old. All right. I mean, nonstop worked. Then I went to college and then I got 
then I went to more college and then I had all my babies and then always, and that was a lot of work. And then, uh, interpreting for all those years and traveling and just go, 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 go. Now I'm like, everything's so quiet. Everything is so peaceful and I have no schedule except for the schedule I give myself. And I realized I am not giving myself a schedule. I'm just doing whatever my body wants every day. I just wake up, and if I wake up at 10, that's fine. If I wake up at 7, that's fine. If I wake up at noon, that's just fine, too. And it feels good, and my body has definitely felt better. I mean, the pain is there always, but not as bad as it was. Okay. But my mental state is kind of like doesn't know what to do with um, not working. I, I feel like I just feel kind of like lost. So, and I miss seeing people. That is one big thing. I miss seeing people going out and doing things and stuff. And then, of course, being locked down in COVID for, you know, that year did not help a lot. <laughs> You know, and then we get went off of that, and then we finally got to get out and see people again and start living, and then I quit. <laughs> and now I'm back. I, it feels like I'm back on COVID days again, like I'm locked in my house like I was before. But, um, and even before COVID, I was pretty much locked in the house because of my immune system was low, and I, you know, I couldn't go out around you know, around uh, heavily populated areas or sick people, you know. So I've been locked down quite a few times. <laughs> um, anyway, so my my goal is to, after I take my shower, my, actually, I'm going to do it while I do my admin, so I'm all in the same space. I am going to set a schedule. I have a schedule. It's in Asana, and it tells me everything I need to do. And I have just been doing the bare minimum. So, because doing the channel, I can be very creative, I can have fun, go outside, set up the camera, show you all the things that I love. It's like having friends with me <laughs> and dragging you around wherever I wanna go. Uh, and if you don't like it, you can just click off. It's easy peasy, it's a perfect friendship, right? So. I think I'm going to set myself a schedule and not like hardcore where if I'm in pain or something, I can't lay down. No, just a schedule to get me back into the groove of living um, and not just like dawdling, you know what I mean? Or watching a thousand episodes of the Gilmore Girls every day. Uh, that was embarrassing, but... That's okay. <laughs> All right, you guys. I will catch you after admin. I did it again. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Hi, buddy. And Bentley's back too. You know how he is. He likes to be the center of attention. He likes to be the center of attention, huh? Yeah, my sweet boy. Okay, I was just going through my emails and I got an email um, asking me about BioFit. All right. <sighs> I, I've said this many times, but I didn't say anything about the site because I was so excited about losing weight that that's all was on my mind. But uh, BioFit has a super cheesy um, landing page or a selling page or whatever. And they have that, bye bye now, we're running out, which they did one time. But anyway, I didn't start taking it because of the commercial or whatever, the landing page. In fact, 
I started taking it because my sister had been taking it and she lost weight. So she told me about it and then I just skipped ahead and bought. But I did go back a couple times and read the, <laughs> read the landing page or the their commercial page or whatever. And it is super cheesy. And And I've said this many times before while talking about it. You can't, it says you can eat whatever you want. It shows donuts and all this stuff and lose weight with this pill. Well, as you know, that is not true. There's no magic pill anywhere in the world that will do that. And if there is, oh, holy cow, bring it on. But I've said this like probably in the beginning, I said it more, but I want to clarify it. Okay. This is not a magic pill. They're like the cheesy, you can eat anything you want and melt off the pounds in days. It's not true. I eat very clean and you guys know what I eat. I, my eating is very, I don't, I don't measure things and stuff, but I eat really good. And I stopped junk food, (laughs) plant food, junk food, which is more calories than regular junk food, by the way. And the stress of moving and all that. The reason why I do all the supplements, in fact, I have, you guys have seen my supplements. I mean, I take like, I don't know, probably 10 supplements. And the reason I do, it's not for weight loss, well, biofitness, but it's because I believe if you nourish your body with every good ingredient that you can get in there, like um, the fruits and the vegetables and vitamin D, C, anything that puts um, good stuff in your body that, look at this, boom, 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 and all of that. Every day I take, can you see that? I don't know. Every day I take all of this. And I don't take... I don't take them specifically for each individual thing like, okay, Bentley, what's the matter? We're going to get Synagut or Alta Balance and just instantly have perfect blood balance. You're instantly going to have thinner thighs or, you know, whatever. It just, it just isn't, it doesn't work that way. Um... I believe, and this is just my belief, I am not a doctor. I am not a nutritionist. I just did a lot of studying. And the more good stuff you put in your body, the less bad stuff you'll crave. And that is pretty much my bottom line. So I take I take just anything that will benefit my body in some way. And I figure if it's not good or if it's bad or whatever my body will tell me I will get sick or not feel good taking it you know heart or race whatever then I stop and that's it but I look at the ingredients and I'm really picky about the ingredients and that's why I take BioFit it's got all these fruits and vegetables and all these different stuff inside of it that just has good nutrients and I don't know where they came up with eat anything you want, that special ingredient, whatever, whatever. But what I want you guys to know is it is not a magic pill. It is not take it and lose weight. You know, that is all false claim. And I've got, I've said that so many times, but I just want to make sure that you guys know, I know (laughs) that the land, that they're cheesy, but I'm taking it and I'm happy with it. And I want to do a, um, like stop taking it for a month and see and keep doing everything I'm doing, change nothing, but stop taking it and then find out what, where my weight is. If it goes, it gets harder to lose or if it stops or, but I'm so afraid because it's, I'm losing right now and I don't want to like go backwards. You know what I mean? If it is working, then I I want to, you know, I don't want to mess things up. If it isn't working, then, you know, if I stop taking it and keep losing, well, there you go. It's just my diet <laughs> and situation. But mentally, I'm just like sold that it's working for me. So I have no, I don't have any magic wand to read the future. If it's going to keep working, I mean, I don't know. 
but for now, um, all of everything that I'm taking, every nutrient in there, is keeping me going, I believe. It's, and my blood work is good. I, every, my last two labs were stellar. I mean, so I just really believe in supplements. I mean, you don't have to take as many as I take. <laughs> but I do have stage 4 cancer, and I really just want to do everything I can on my side of things and then trust God for the rest. So I hope that just clarifies a little bit about the BioFit. And if you guys have any reservations, like you look at the site, like I am glad I didn't see the site first because if Sherry hadn't given it to me, I would have read, read the site and said, forget it, you know? So I do get that as well. So anyway, I am going to stop now and I'm going to go back to my emails. Hello guys. So I am dressed sort of. I just threw some makeup on and put on my favorite sweater. I love this sweater. Amazon rocks. Anyway, and I even have flip flops on. That's how lazy I am right now. But it was kind of warm out today and now it's getting chilly. So half and half, I guess. Anyway, I am headed over to my son's Rayman's house. Um, he's working on his studio uh, in the back and I've been working hard all day. So I told him mama would bring dinner over for him. So that's where I'm headed. So I will take you guys along with me. Oh, I can't, oh, look it. He, I think he's, I've never seen a baby or a kid scared of you, Ray. Yeah, but he's, he's no problem. <laughs> you just said that on her blog video. <laughs> Might have to blurt that out. <laughs> See, I don't have problems. I'm a baby, huh? Okay, Are you a cute here. baby? Hi, baby I'm boy. So hi. Else. Say hi. Oh, he's such a sweetheart. So, I'm stuck. And my son and my husband are going to try to jump me. It's not good. Okay, so I was driving home and my car just stopped in the middle of a, like as you're getting off the freeway, and it just stopped. So my son and my husband think it's the battery. They're going to try to jump me. But I'm sitting in a very dangerous spot. It's kind of scary. Alright, I better put you guys down before they get mad. Okay, so they tried to jump start my car and it wasn't the battery. It's That's not it. So, they're looking at the gas tank. All of a sudden my gas tank thing says I have like only 52 miles before empty and so we're thinking maybe it's broken and because it kind of felt like that it felt like just like I mean I haven't had a run out of gas for many many years but that's kind of what it felt like anyway so my son ran across the extremely very busy street Lord help him to get um, a can of gas and we're gonna try that next and my husband's calling triple A as a backup so if we can't um, if that doesn't work but anyway a perfectly good night um, down the drain <laughs> actually we had a lot of fun before before I stalled in the middle of uh, oncoming traffic <laughs> It's crazy because behind me, I don't know if you can see, it's pretty dark. I'm, it comes up like this and then like merges on to the next lane and people are coming real fast around the corner to go, you know, to merge and they speed up so they can merge and, and I'm like stuck right in the middle of it and car is too stinking heavy and big. They couldn't, they couldn't get it pushed out and no one will stop and help. Of course, it's like, really? What's wrong with you people? So anyway, praying that the gas um, tank is the problem. If not, uh, I hope AAA gets here quickly. 
Luckily, there's a gas station just like right behind me, uh, right before I got on the this this lane. So, but anyway, we've got the lights going. We have the hood up, and then my son's car parked like there with his lights on and then my husband got here and he turned around and is facing my car with his lights going on so now everybody can see us and not hit us preferably so unless they're blind or driving blind who knows so all right well this will be uh an interesting vlog i guess i don't know <laughs> uh i was having such a good night we played um you're we going crazy with the baby playing with them and then um, we I played chess uh, with Brennan yes it was chess and he beat me I know sad so it was gonna be a good night it was a good night up until now but that's okay I've got my two warriors my two princes come came to my rescue so we're good all right well I'll keep you guys updated. I'm going to try to save the battery because I'm almost out. Home safely. Yay! <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> what a night. <laughs> but just so incredibly thankful that I didn't get hit from behind in very fast traffic. Thank you, God, for that. And thank you, Raymond Gregory, my son, for coming to Mama's aid in a heartbeat. <laughs> and thank you, Hubby, for coming to help and get me home safely. It was a gas tank. Something's wrong with it. It's not registering right. And I ran out of gas, of all things. How silly, right? <gasps> all right. You guys, I'm exhausted, so I'm going to cuddle my doggy, kiss my husband, and go to bed. <laughs> and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys. Ah, I got a quarter in my face. Ah. Okay, today is Saturday, and as you know, I had a big day yesterday. It was a good day, kind of a frustrating day, the car breaking, actually running out of gas, whatever. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Oh. So today, from sitting in the car, waiting for, you know, everything to get fixed so I could get out of there and all that, just sitting in one spot and being tense. I was in a little bit more pain today. So I um, got up this morning and I started like putting dishes in the, the dishwasher and just kind of dawdling around. And then I realized, you know what? I am just too tired for this. I am starting to feel pain and it's only like eight o'clock in the morning. It cannot be good. <laughs> so I um I told my husband, Oh my gosh, see what I mean? I told my husband, I was like, you know what? Would you mind if I just like rested today and um stayed in bed and did some work on the computer and you know just just rest, try to do as little as possible because I really, really, really want to go to church tomorrow and be with the family and all that. And, you know, so you have to give a, t give a little, take a little, give a little, take, take a little, balance, balance, balance. <laughs> so that's where I am today. I am in bed for the day and hopefully I will feel like going to church tomorrow with the family and that brought up just just a thought um, you know I have comments people saying you know why are you so happy why are you always smiling you know your thumbnail looks sad or the title sad and then you know you you're on camera yet you're smiling you know and yeah, I am, because even though I'm not happy about being in pain, trust me, that's not it. I still am able to um, work, you know, inside the home, like, you know, do my vlogs, um, 
enjoy my family, enjoy my beautiful home. Um, I have my sisters, my nieces, my nephews. You know, I'm surrounded by awesome people. So even though, yes, I know, there's that dark cloud hanging over, I still feel like there's hope and there's blessing. Um, my husband uh, today had to go to, he's selling a, a couple's, well, couple's, a man's house. He's got three little kids, and he sold him and his wife their home two years ago. And the guy called him and said, hey, um, I really just want to get out of this house. And Ray's like, why? We just bought it. And he goes, well, my da my wife died in it. Uh, and it's like, ugh. And she was 32 years old, three little girls, and healthy, running marathons, doing everything. And she went to bed one night. She had an aneurysm and didn't wake up. And it really puts things in perspective because everyone's waiting for me to drop. <laughs> I mean, they're not hoping for it. At least I hope not. But they're expecting someone who has stage 4 cancer to eventually expire. But they're not, ex you know, they're focusing on that, on the people that are, you know, that get sick and get COVID or have pneumonia or, you know, get in an accident or, you know, just something that forewarns death. Where is, um, that's not the way it works, you know. I remember my mother-in-law had cancer twice, and she um, went through chemotherapy, radiation, double mastectomy, the whole thing. And she was older, so the whole family expected her probably to pass away before her husband, my husband's father. And he was younger. He was eight years younger than she was. He appeared to be in better health, and he dropped dead of a heart attack in a day. I mean, you the point is not to depress everybody, <laughs> but the point is that death can come at any time. There is no um, guarantee that we all are going to have tomorrow. And so instead of focusing on the time that I may not have, um, really trying, I mean, some days they get to me, as you know, but just trying to focus on, look at what I have right now. And I'm so grateful what I have right now. And am I grateful that I have pain and I have to take things slowly, and I can't do the things I used to do. You know what? I'm still alive, and I'm still decorating my beautiful home. I'm still losing weight and feeling great, and my hair is still growing back. You know what I mean? There's just so much to be grateful for. And sometimes it's hard when you're in bed and you're lonely, and you go through sad periods and stuff. But this situation with his client dying, it just it just put things in perspective so much for me. And yeah, I just that was just on my heart and my mind to, to share with you guys today. And yeah. Each day is a gift from God, a blessing, and we don't know what the future holds, you know, but we know what we have right now. And today I have a comfy bed, <laughs> a beautiful husband, a great computer. <laughs> Still love my computer, even after a year of having it. Um, and last night I enjoyed my kids, even my son dropping everything to come, you know, bail me out of the car situation. That that was a blessing. A lot of moms don't have, you know, kids or sons that would drop everything and go help them. 
So that was even a thank you, Jesus, for that. Thank you, God, for, you know, blessing me with this kid and all the others. <laughs> so, yeah. So anyway, that's all that's happening today is I'm going to be here. And, yeah. And almost, there was one other thing I was going to say. Oh, I am very upset about my CBD pain freeze people because they are so inconsistent with their mailing stuff. My last order took like, not this order, but the one before Christmas took five weeks. And this last one took two weeks. So I thought while they're, while they're on a roll, I'm going to put an order in and hopefully get it right away while they're you know, shipping quickly. And I got an email today, this morning, I opened up my email and it says, my shipment was going to be delayed, which is what they said before. And it was delayed five weeks. So I am looking for something that I like as well as my CBD pain freeze, something that I can order and get like that. Because it's just this frustration of trying to get it and wondering if it's going to come and then using it and thinking, oh, I love this stuff, and then not being able to get it. It's just too much. It's just it's ridiculous. And I don't want to reward bad, um, bad service, I guess. I don't know. I think, they stay in, I think they stay afloat because the product is good. It's just... I don't know if they're too small to handle what they what they sell or if it's just bad service. I don't know. But so I've had a couple of you give me some really good um, referrals and I am going to probably I'll do that now while I'm here. <laughs> so I want to check them all out and see. I'm going to try them and see which one I like. And there is one that... Um, Look at me, that's your handle. Um, recommended it's a like a bath salt and it has fracken frankincense, um, CBD, uh, and two other things. Anyway, you put it in your nice hot bath and you soak in it, and it just you know it's supposed to take a lot of pain away and stuff. And she says it works great. So I am ordering that today, and I thought, oh, that's perfect with my brand new bubble bath tub. You know, I can put that in and see if I'm see if that helps. Um, and then I'm looking for something I can, you know, like a cream or something. So I am taking suggestions. So, and I mean, I don't want to discourage you guys if you want to keep going with the CBD pain freeze. It does work. I love it. I'm just not happy with the mailing situation, so there's that. <laughs> so anyway, um, oh, and the BioFit. Many people are asking me what are the side effects and stuff like that. I have had no side effects except for weight loss, but this is, you. I don't want anybody to get it and think, oh, I'll just take a pill and I'll lose weight because the key, no matter what they're, stupid advertisement says it is not a magic bullet my eating at the same time as I started on all of my supplements my eating changed I stopped fast food um, I stopped packaged food I started eating whole foods vegetables spinach you know um, kashi cereal and berries and I did make vegan mac and cheese a couple times but still vegan still good homemade um, and yes, I did have pizza three times, <laughs> but you know what? I think if you eat, say, 80% pure and clean, then that other, you know, 40%, hold on, 80, 90, 20% um, gets forgiven, I think. I don't know. I'm guessing. <laughs> Just my theory. So... If you're going to try the BioFit, 
please, please, please change your diet with it because it won't work without it. I mean, you have to have good eating habits, period, to keep it off. You can't just keep taking pills to stay skinny all your life. You have to actually, you know, make the difference. And I, the BioFit enzymes and stuff in there, are working great for me. The key, I don't know, it's working, so I'm I'm going with it. But I also take Ulta Balance, which is good for my blood sugar level because I am diabetic. And then I take Cinegut because I always have that. Mm, I know it's a TMI, but constipation because of the morphine. So Cinegut has enzymes and all this different stuff, and it keeps everything and has good bacteria, keeps everything moving. So Cinegut, love you. Um, and then I take a couple others, have vitamin D and C and little B3 and niacinamide. Um, I mean, you name it, I take it. So I am filled up with good nutrients and I try to eat them as well because that's the best way to go about it. But sometimes we don't eat well, so I've got my backup plan right there. So anyway, just wanted to clarify, you guys, don't think that a pill is going to do it for you. you got to change your eating habits. But the pill does seem to help me. So I kind of want to do a test and not take it for two weeks and see if I keep losing. But I don't want to because <laughs> I'm scared. And I have so much energy, too. I don't know. I just, I'm going to just keep going. All right, you guys. Well, I am going to do some research on some new CBD stuff. And um, rest for the rest of the day. And I will see you guys. You will see this on Sunday. And I will see you guys on Tuesday with another to keep for cancer. And you guys, thank you so much for watching. I love you. You guys are awesome. And... I will see you on the next Too Cute for Cancer, Too Cute for Cancer, signing off. Whenever you're down, out in the cold, faithless and dark, your story's untold. Come take my hand and walk there with me I know a place where we can be free There is a light shining for you Guiding your way, helping you through And shadows and gloom are all that you see Deep